Guardian. I just want to thank you for clicking on this video. I will be covering a lot today, so keep your ears peeled on your head. This video contains a lot of info about the new items and info found within the European Dead Zone, the largest area Bungie has ever created. First off, public events are now a major thing in Destiny 2. You can start them whenever you feel like earning some goodies, and you don't have to wait for them to spawn. Although you can, public events can now be seen on your map with a countdown of when it will begin. Each public event has a heroic modifier that activates when you complete a secret mechanic. For example, in this public event, you have to destroy a Cabal ship called a Thresher. Once destroyed, the heroic mode becomes active. You should definitely take an interest in completing the heroic versions of public events because it gives you a hell of a lot more loot. After this guardian destroyed the Thresher, the heroic modifier became active and his objective changed to he had to defeat an excavation Valus who is this big bullet sponge right here. This guardian bags himself a legendary Ingram, some rare gear, plus the public event chest. And here's a little bit of good advice. Completing public events, and especially on the heroic mode, is an excellent way to level up. Every time you level up, you bag yourself a bright Ingram that gives you customization options for your character. Tess Everest can decode them. Now guys, look at this monstrosity. It's a Cabal Injection Rig. Now Bungie said that some heroic versions of public events can have some Nightfall tier mechanics to them. This is one of them. What happens is that to activate the heroic modifier for this public event, you have to destroy all the vents on the rig. The vents only open at specific times. At one point, the rig creates a shield around itself, and you can only shoot the vents while you're inside the shield. But if you're inside the shield while the vents are open, you take damage and you still have to defeat ads at the same time. Prepare yourself for this one, Guardian, because it's not as easy as it looks. Take a look at some new respawn customizations. This one has the Jade Rabbit symbol on it like the Jade Rabbit emblem and weapon in Destiny 1. Then we have one that has more of a hive slash taken spooky feel to it. And finally, one that has all the class symbols on it. These are all very, very beautiful. Now for returning subclasses in Destiny 2 like the Night Stalker, Hammer of Soul, and Stormcaller. When this hunter opens a Lost Scepter chest, he gets an artifact that says it's filled with lost power called the Fractured Arrow and it has a little void symbol next to it. When this warlock opens a regional chest, he gets something very similar but an artifact with an arc symbol next to it called the Cracked Talisman. And then finally, this titan gets an artifact called the Melted Hammer and it looks like he's more advanced in his quest because it says your lost strength is returning to you return to the shard in the european dead zone to restore your light and now for some good old challenges challenges are are kind of like objectives you have to complete in each area to get yourself that awesome loot now this guardian has three challenges and these challenges are trackable from your ghost which is really cool and this guardian has three which one of them is Lost Sector Firebase Hades, loot a Lost Sector near Firebase Hades, then Red Legion Raider, loot three Cabal Supply Caches, and Scourge of the Cabal, defeat 75 Cabal enemies. Devrim K is a brand new NPC and he lies in the European Dead Zone and he is a quest giver but he also holds the EDZ faction and you can turn in EDZ tokens to rank up, you can also turn in Dusklight shards which I'll get to in a minute and once you rank up you get EDZ engrams that reward you with that luscious loot. I'd just like to point out that this Guardian has 44,000 Glimmer, which means the Glimmer cap has been greatly increased. I've seen a Guardian with 70,000 Glimmer, so the Glimmer cap might be 100,000. Now for some big, big news. Another old exotic is returning to Destiny 2, and that is none other than the Hard Light Exotic Auto Rifle. Now its main perk is that its bullets ricochet off 
hard surfaces or just surfaces i'm not totally sure on that one and now in destiny 2 it seems to do void damage now it wasn't that good in destiny 1 and it was just pretty much forgotten so i hope that D bungie did a good job remaking this so that it is actually fun to play with now for some more in Lost Sectors. Lost Sectors are hidden areas that contain enemies and a boss at the end. The boss will always be named and is guarding a chest. And you can only open the chest once the boss is defeated. Once he's defeated, he will give you a cache code that will allow you to open the chest and give you that luscious loot. When you get an EDZ Ingram, you can actually preview it and see every single item you can get when you decrypt your EDZ Ingram. Now, the description reads, when you open it, you always get one faction reward, a faction shader, and an additional item. One thing that definitely caught my eye is this sword called Negative Space that deals solar damage. Its perks read Adaptive Sword, Well-Rounded, Use R2 to Uppercut, Sword Guard, Has Low Efficiency and High Defense, Consecutive Rapid Sword Strikes, Increase This Weapon's Damage Output. Now here's the sword in action, you'll see it in just a minute, but while this clip is rolling I can talk about something else that's happening here. This is a high value target, now it is no longer a public event and there will be a small notification above your super bar when a high value target is nearby. So as you can see, this sword makes quick death. So once a high value target is defeated, it drops a chest that you can open to get some EDZ tokens that you can redeem to Devrim K for some EDZ reputation. Then we have Dusk Light Shards, which are these things here, that you can also redeem to Devrim K for more EDZ reputation. I do believe that these are small shards of the Traveler. Here's some more sword lit sword gameplay. Look at this. Schwing schwang. Nothing can stop this guardian, man. Nothing is in his way when he has the negative space. Next up, regional chests. There are a lot of them and they are all hidden. They're kind of like golden chests, like in Destiny 1, but they're in Destiny 2 and they're always very well hidden. And the symbol on the left side of the chest that you can see right now is the symbol shown on the map because these chests are actually shown on the map so you can find them wherever you are on the map but even though they are shown it might be hard to find them still just like just like lost sectors they are also shown on the map but some lost sectors are easier to find than others even while shown on the map it might be a hassle to find now we have a brand new exotic confirmed that this guardian is using right now it is a void pulse rifle called the graviton lance now it is super cool kills with the third burst deal explosions when you kill enemies they literally explode into void madness and deal splash damage around killing anything remotely nearby to it also the taken are in destiny 2 now let's take a closer look at these explosions if you look carefully the enemies fly back and explode in the background into void beauty Look at this, he just goes back and explodes everything. It's super cool, it's main perk is called Black Hole and it's just really, really awesome. The weapon itself is good looking, but they didn't overdo it. Okay, so guys, that is unfortunately all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. This video still ended up being decently long, but I covered a lot of stuff in this video. Now, I just uploaded another video recently that was just before this video, and it talks about a lot more about the European Dead Zone, and you guys should definitely, definitely go check it out. So link to that in the description. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Thanks for clicking on this video and I hope to see you all in the very next video.